All right, Melissa. All right, well, did you know that you can train your brain to have a better life? I am listening. And apparently all it can take is just a few simple steps every day. Psychiatrist Dr. Daniel Amen, the author of Change Your Brain Every Day, is here to tell us how. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you so much for helping me spread this word. We're in this mental health pandemic and uh, we need to get out of it by having a better brain. Is that what prompted you to write Change Your Brain Every Day? Absolutely. You know, I've been a psychiatrist for four decades and I've never seen depression, anxiety disorder, suicide addictions at this level. And I, I think we just have it backwards. It's not mental health. It's brain health. Your brain creates your mind. And if you get your brain healthy, your mind just tends to be so much better. Well, I'm excited to learn a little bit more. I follow you on Instagram. You have so many great tips that have also helped me out. I have, you know, things with anxiety sometimes that crop up. And, um, you know, do you think that we're just not really paying attention to the brain? Like we're, you know, exercising and eating right. But like, what could we be doing to our brain for the health? So I live in Newport Beach, California, where we have more plastic surgeons than almost anywhere in the world. And I say we care more about our faces, our breasts, our bellies, and our butts than we do our brain. And that's insane because your brain creates everything you do. And in Change Your Brain Every Day, it's 366 short essays on the most important things I've ever said. So it's sort of like spending five to 10 minutes in a psychiatrist's office every day getting coaching on how to have a better brain, a better mind, better relationships and a better life. And it's, it's just a very different way to think about mental health. And we've, we're taking a look at some video of brain imaging. Uh, doctor, what has that taught you and how has that changed your practice as a psychiatrist? So it changed everything. Uh, you know, I've been doing it for 32 years, and I realize it's not mental health. It's brain health. And if I can get you to eat better, to think better, to make better decisions about the physical functioning of your brain, you're just happier. You're less anxious. Training your mind to help you rather than hurt you. A lot of people struggle with anxiety. They're loaded with what I call ants, automatic negative thoughts, the thoughts that come into your mind mm. automatically and ruin your day. You need to take control of that like you wouldn't have an ant infestation in your kitchen. You would take control of that. The same thing's true of taking control of your mind. Are there any things you could tell us that we could do just simply every day for the help, you know, the health of our brain? So when you start your day, like I started mine very early today, um, it's today is going to be a great day. Say that to yourself every day. And when you go through your day, as you go through your day, ask yourself whatever you're going to do, whatever you're going to eat, whatever you're going to drink, whatever you're going to say, is this good for my brain? or bad for it. And if you can answer that with information and love, you're going to start making better decisions. And when you go to bed tonight, what, what I do every night is I say a prayer and then I go, what went well today? Mm -hmm. And I start at the beginning of the day and I just go hour by hour looking for what I loved about the day because that sets your dreams up right. to be more positive. We actually implement that with our three-year-old at the dinner table. We say, we go around the table, and what are you grateful for every day? And it really kind of resets. Even if you had a bad day at work or a bad day at school, it kind of grounds you and brings you back to what matters most. Where you focus always determines how you feel. And the fact that you're doing it with your three-year-old, if you continue it, um, your training, the three-year-old to look for what's right rather than what's wrong. Mm -hmm. All right. Great advice. Awesome advice. Yeah. We so appreciate you coming on the show, Dr. Daniel Amen. And uh, for more information, we all, of course, have it on our website, wfsb.com.